All right, it's that time once again for another Alterac Valley, December the 30th, 2023. Looks like we have eight healers. Alliance have 12 healers, man. That is a ton of healers up in this match, man. We're going to, looks like we're going to split. I'm going to go ahead and north to Shiggy. Don't forget to hit that like, share, subscribe, and notification bell. Looks like they had some people over there by SHB. I'm going straight to the graveyard, pulling the guards. The explosive shot pretty much takes them all out. Put some traps down over here. Make sure there's nobody coming from the res point. Got it tapped. Now we have our defense that can finish wiping them. Hold this graveyard as long as we can. Everybody that dies down south is going to go all the way back up to aid station now because we got a tap on Stormpike Graveyard. Even better. Got two healers here right now. They're going to try and stun. I'm not going to trinket that. I can still interrupt them because it takes longer for them to cap than it did for that stun. Another healer is coming back to the graveyard. Wow. They got three healers here at the graveyard. Insane, man. Holy smokes. Looks like Dirty Bird and Razor Stellar got the top damage so far into that team fight. Our team is trying to push through the field now, so they must be wiping them down there. Looks like it's pretty even Steven on kills. 687 tied right now, yeah. Shoot. I had to turtle. Watch for people capping the flag. Interrupt them. I'm trying to hold it as long as I can. I don't have any cooldowns left now, though, so we might be in trouble here. We need more people to the graveyard. Ah, people already left. Yeah, too many went all the way to Stormpike. Mikhilski's up here. I don't have my knockback yet. Didn't quite get it off, so it happens. Looks like we got a battle in the field then instead. We have people all the way north, though. That's going to make them send people back up to their base. And we might be able to just push back to Stone Earth Graveyard right now. Shoot. Finish all rock. Get them down. They have back capped the south bunker. Still got a couple graveyards tapped in around two minutes for each one. They just hit west in our base. Pulling the guards once again. I've already taken them out once. Let's take them out a second time, right? We should be able to get up here and get this graveyard, though. They are starting to get pushed back into the spawn location. That's obviously the best way you can do to cap the graveyard. Push them back there. Slow trap stun them. Make sure they don't get up here to interrupt. And then just tap the flag. They have tapped snowfall now. So they don't want us to have snowfall it looks like. We got the graveyard. We're finished wiping them here. We wipe them out. They're all going to res back at the aid station once again. Because we still have Stormpike tapped. It's still got about a minute to go before it caps. And they did reclaim it, so I went back to make sure Snowfall is secure. Stone Earth Graveyard finally fully caps. We got taps on everything. Snowfall is going to cap now. Stone Earth Bunker is going to burn after that. Yeah, they took the graveyard from us, but we did get one burn. That puts us a little bit ahead in score. They've actually gotten more HKs than us in this match. Pretty interesting. Our boomies have almost double their top damage of their team, so. Now we're fighting for the battle of Stone Hearth Graveyard. Put out the raid warning for everybody to regroup. Stealth need to keep harassing the north. Yeah. Well, that is one thing that seems like some of our stealthists don't want to do. Even if you just go inside of the bunkers up there, put a tap on them, and then go stealth and rehide. Wait for them to reclaim it. Come back and tap it again, you know. You don't have to even break out of stealth. Just keep them constantly running back and forth to their base and out of the team fight. That will help out immensely down here. Especially if you get some of them healers to recall. They got 12 of them, man. Jeez Louise. Stereotypes the warriors up front. He's going to leap away. We're starting to push him again. A rogue's on top of the building. That's fun. He must have shadow stepped up there to chase somebody, right? Got him. I'll take that killing blow. Hellion's Angel. Let's get him down. A priest. No, they're not going to die just yet. Interrupted the flash heal. They are silenced. They don't have a trinket. They're casting everything they've got. Come on, get him. Got him. Just keep pushing now. Maybe we need to port some people into the house? Eh, that's always fun for sure. Be careful, make sure they don't port us anywhere we don't want to be. Shadow Kita is going to go down almost, not quite. Carries up in here in the face. Um, anybody else we recognize? There's a few names maybe we see over there. Got a lot of priests to deal with. 
They had three Shadow Priests too. That's fun. Shadow Priests do pretty good damage. Looks like that is their top damage right now. One of their Shadow Priests. Make sure to keep them in the graveyard. <laughs> We're pushing hardcore back now. We got a tap on Icewing. That's going to make some of them leave this team fight and go over to that bunker for sure. We have 30 seconds to reclaim the graveyard. Is that enough time? I don't know. We might have to just go ahead and finish wiping them there and reclaim it and wait another four minutes till it caps again. Although we have got them out of here. No, we might have it. I thought they had more backup in there, but they did not. We got it. Nice. That's great news. So that means we don't have to sit around and wait another four minutes. Try to prevent anybody from going south. That warrior was sneaking over there to the west side. Might need to look after that. We have snowfall. We got everything south, so hold what we got. We don't have that much of a lead right now. But one tower, or they kill Galv, you know, and they're back in this one for sure. Just prevent their team from going south. Let's get them past here and push them down this hill. And save the choke point for the horde. Kill yoga buns. Finally. Got the healer down. Paladin's down the hill. BDCX. I don't even want to guess what that means, but okay. Oh, they got IBT tapped. Icewing has burned. We're going back for IBT. Got a minute 36. Oh, they got two healers in here. We might be in trouble, man. We need someone to port them out here, or we need at least, maybe, someone to mind control them out. Somehow, we got to get them out of here for sure. These two healers is going to be rough to do. We got to take them both out in under a minute 20. Do we have the DPS here is the question. Ring of Peace is going off. At least as a hunter, you can still cast while you're being knocked back from Ring of Peace. Mick Hilsky is pretty rough to heal. Now he's got a life cocoon. <sighs> yeah, they might burn this. They might get one. Get the score a little bit closer to them. We still are a pretty good lead right now. If this happens, we want to make sure to finish wiping them. Go back up there and reclaim Snowfall. And then take out Belinda to get our 100 points back. Oh, IBT gone. Maybe, maybe not. No, no, it's good. Oh, man, called a little too early. We did get it back. Nice. Heading up to Snowfall, there's a Druid Healer here. A lot of our team are pushing the Storm Pike Graveyard. Not sure if they're making any headway on it yet. Soon we'll find out. I'll take the Killing Blow there. Reclaim Snowfall. Time to take out Belinda. Yep. Let's get this 100 points so they get discouraged. Don't think they can win this one still. They pushed our team back to Icewing's Choke Point here. Now we can start taking them out. We got everybody out of Blenda. Most of the people are here at the team fight. We have a few people in our base. They obviously sent a stealth team down into our base. Probably most of the druids and rogues too, it looks like. Zelaria is over here to the side. Just spamming Soothing Mist. <laughs> spam it, spam it, spam it. Is this how the match is going to go? They want us to sit here and farm the last 270 kills. Oh, man. Cheese Cutter says, maybe a little bunker cap. Yeah, I mean, it would be nice if we could. we got to wipe them out here first to get up there. Razor Stellar and Dirty Bird are just smashing the damage meter, man. Over 175 million damage for both of them already. Jesus. The team is all stacked up, so this is like a Boomy's Wet Dream right here. <laughs> and it's obviously their nightmare. We have, what, four Boomies? They have three. Their boomies are not really doing much damage, though. Not compared to ours, anyway, for sure. Carrie's right there. That's one of them. Trying to get some ranged attacks. Get a sniper shot off on the priest, maybe. He's not going to die, though. Uh, close. Rapid fire. Oh, man, I missed the rapid fire. Sometimes, man, you look back at what you're playing through, and you're like, hey, I should have did this, or I should have done that. Hindsight's 2020, they say. We are starting to push them down the cliff now. We hit Lust. That should be all we need there. That will give us what we need to push. Just keep spamming any ability you got. 
This is not like a paladin where you just hit anything that's off of cooldown. Try to do some trick shots to get some procs off. Monk's down there. Priest is going to go next. That's a killing blow for Miso with the kill shot. Will Raven down. McHilski's next. McHilski finally goes down. Pretty hard to kill McHilski. Priests are rough in general to take out for real. North Star is going down. Obviously, we're taking them out now because we pushed them back. Oh, that AoE pressure, man. It is a mother trucker, right? I'm up top here trying to get some hits on people that are running back. <laughs> Throwing out binding shots whenever I get them down to slow them to getting back to the team fight. I'm trying to snipe out anybody I can. Priest is almost dead. Should have just tried to finish the priest. Oh, they got him. Okay. Now I'm going back around. Let's get over here to the graveyard flag. If you want to take this graveyard, always stack the flag. There's another killing blow. Somebody put a smoke bomb on the flag. Oh, we got it. Nice cap there. Evoker's dead here. Push across the bridge. Maybe burn one. And kill the rest. Huh. They have both mines right now. We're almost hitting the 30 minute mark into the match. Once we hit that time, reinforcements tick down one every 10 seconds for both sides. And we're there now. Sap X. Knocked him off. He shadow steps back. I need one more knockback, but I don't have it. So I got a turtle and heal up in here. Try to run a little bit. Make them chase, chase, chase. Explosive trap. Oh, he didn't have another one. He had another one. Shoot. Now I got knocked away. I'm going to pop some cooldowns. Didn't matter, though. Heading back to the graveyard to help clear it out. We have everything in their base tapped, and we're fighting the boss, too, now. Need a back trap crew right meow. Okay, well, I mean, depends. Can we kill the boss? <laughs> if the boss can die, then we really don't need one, do we? They burned IBT. They burning Tower Point next, it looks like. We are on the boss, maybe? Nope, we got South Burn. North burn, and that's the match it's over with. 16 and 3, man. Not bad. I will take it. Looks like, man, Razor Stellar and Dirty Bird over 240 million damage, man. Lizard top healing for 127 million. May all of your random battlegrounds be epic. A thousand battles, a thousand victories. Until next time, GG for the Horde.